of hurricane season. A new report from NOAA showing that tropical developments becoming more likely as we head towards the end of August and early September. Tropical storm or well, the post tropical system Ernesto right now. You can see that systems over the northern Atlantic and tracking towards Europe. So it's no longer what has the tropical characteristics, a much weaker system, but that's the only system that we have at this time over the Atlantic Basin. And as we uh, take you through the uh, weather history, Saturday marked 55 years since Hurricane Camille. It made landfall on the Mississippi Gulf Coast near Waveland, Mississippi, about 45 miles from Biloxi, and it ranks as the second most intense hurricane to strike the continental United States. The actual Maximum sustained winds of Hurricane Camille were previously not known due to the hurricane destroying the uh, wind recording instruments. I just remember for so many years, you know, studying meteorology, you'd open an encyclopedia, and that's the one that always stood out. It was Hurricane Camille. New data shows peak winds of 175 miles per hour along the coast. Damage brought on by Camille was partial destruction of, of, of the uh, fallen trees, of course, all kinds of damage. We, we just so many scenes there that emulate what we saw with Hurricane Katrina across South Mississippi, which was one of the hardest hit areas. There were 256 fatalities as a result of the event and nearly $1.5 billion in damage. And this Saturday makes the 32nd anniversary of Hurricane Andrew making landfall in Dade County, Florida. It had maximum sustained winds of 165 miles per hour with the strong winds causing most of the damage. Andrew caused an estimated $26 billion in damages, making it the most expensive disaster in American history and was surpassed by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Both Hurricane Andrew and Camille are two of the only four hurricanes to make landfall in the United States as a Category 5.